Harleywood. So I'm going to show you something that I find a little bit annoying when it comes to these two rifles here. Let me let you look at them first. So here is a nine inch barrel pistol and here is a ten and a half inch barrel rifle. Okay. The difference is in the grip. And I know what you're asking. Well, they look the same, right? So look at this one. It's empty. And look at this one. What is that? Oh, it's my stupid tax stamp. So this stupid thing just got approved and it cost me $200 more than basically the same thing. Both have PDW stocks. This one is a Battle Arms PDW stock that cost about twice as much, by the way. This one is an SB Tactical PDW stock. Let's look at these. Hmm. Oh, there's the difference. This one has a hole in the end. I get it. So this one, I can put my arm through, put the strap around and stabilize it. That's why it's a pistol brace. All right, so anyway, 10 months later, I got my tax stamp back for my SBR. And um, I don't know that I'll ever do another one. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know that it's worth paying 200 bucks for this, not being able to take it across state lines without getting prior approval and kind of all the horse shit that goes along with one of these. Um, when options have come so far that this is now still considered a pistol, yet is effectively the same thing as what I have on my on my SBR. So the NFA is just stupid. It's outdated. It needs to go. Um, but I digress. Anyway, this is a Battle Arms build. If you've been watching the channel, I guess it's been about three years now. I built this as a full-length rifle. Originally, I called it Project Lightsaber. Go look at my playlists. You'll see I have a playlist for it. It's probably one of my most highly watched playlists. And um, it was originally a 16-inch, and it had a you know more of a normal stock on it. Um, and it's been sitting in various states of disrepair for about the past year while I've been waiting on this guy to come back in. So now I have it. This afternoon, I went ahead and you know put everything back on it. And prior, about a month or two ago, I had reviewed, I had this pistol brace. In fact, it was on this 300 Blackout here. And this piece here, just by adding it to the Shockwave blade brace, turns this into an SBR. Now that I have my tax stamp, I could use that if I wanted to. Um, we'll see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock that PDW for a little while. I literally just got this PDW today. I went to True Prep over here in Marietta and if you're not familiar, uh, check out their website. They have tons of stuff. And if you live local, they have, I mean, you could basically go buy every single part you need to do an AR build. Um, and they're open on Sunday, which is great. Um, anyway, I bought this there. Like I said, this is half the price of that one from Battle Arms and allows me to do basically the same thing. So a question for you guys, how do you manage your tax stamp letter? Um, obviously I made copies of it and put the original in the safe. I made this little 50% of full size copy, put it in a Ziploc bag and I stick it up in the grip there. And I'm planning to keep this probably in the rifle bag whenever I go out with it. What do you guys do? Do you do something different? Um, do you not take it with you at all? You know, give me some, give me some feedback in the comments. And um, when I did the review of this, it's funny, so many guys in the comments said, fuck the ATF and, you know, shoulder it, and, which I know it's not illegal. And, you know, like all this shit, just, you know, build it anyway. And, um, yeah, that's great, man. I hear you. <laughs> like, um, first, I'm a public figure, and I'm not going to do stupid shit like that. And uh, second, I'll, I'll, I'll usher a challenge to you. Um, in the comments below, tell me how many illegal, um, non-ATF approved NFA items do you have? I mean, I'm interested to know. How many did you say fuck the ATF on? Tell us in the comments below. Put it, put it right there. Right there, public. Um, anyway, guys. That's it. I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting with these here coming up, and um, it's deer season. Deer season just started, so I'm going to kind of have to work it in in between my weeks out trying to get more of this on the wall. And uh, so just be on the lookout, but you will see some, sh some footage coming soon. Anyway, that's it, guys. Just wanted to share with you that I finally am official, and this stupid thing cost me $200 more than I'll probably ever spend on another one again.
Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come, and we'll see you on the next one.